Woods, but I said all the time, you know, the truck runs great. Right now, you can see my varying vacuum. I'm just about taking out the gauge. Doing 40 miles an hour. My O2 sensor has no idea what it's doing. This is one of those days where I know my lower barrel is plugged up. I haven't done a clean out in a five days, which is about how long it takes for the lower barrel to get plugged. I know it's the lower barrel because I've tried my uh, uh, ear valve shutdown technique and it didn't improve the vacuum at all. So that's useless unless I just want to burn up the char bed really quickly, which I don't want to do. So I'm in third gear right now, doing 40. I don't know how well you guys can hear it, but the pipes not happy. It's it can't decide if it's getting enough fuel or if it wants more. And the whole truck is just blah 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 the whole time. Now I can shift the fourth and it'll smooth out for a second. But with that high vacuum it takes a minute for the gas to get up to the mixer box. So after well that was about a quarter mile now the truck's starting to surge again because now it's not getting enough fuel if i leave it in the high rpm it's the smoothest i can run it but i'm running down the road at like three three to four thousand very annoying especially considering anything over 15 inches in the rails and i'm starting to siphon fuel yeah wood gas isn't perfect but uh, compared to the fuel prices people are paying right now, I will still take this any day. Now when I have to come to a stop, I gotta hold it like 1500 RPM, keep it running. And it will surge idle the entire time. That's not me surging the idle. Which in turn is also, of course, really hard on the clutch. Let the clutch out and it's very throttle. Very annoying. But hey, that gas station's not even open if they want $3.99. I don't even want to know how much money a gas station's losing being down getting their tanks replaced right now. But that ain't my problem. I will fight this high vacuum. I will get the truck to work, get the system cleaned out, and be happy and smiling going down the road. Wood gas is my freedom fuel, and it's saving me enough money, I will deal with any amount of problems I have. Learning how to drive it, learning how to maintain it, I don't care. I'll take it. It's better than the money I'd be spending at the pump. I sure wouldn't be able to afford to drive this truck, let alone my V10.